doing a lot of research on compressor maps and possible other boost options for the Q50 that I have. One thing that I know for sure is that the YSI is a very powerful blower. Um, it's primarily used on LS motors. They make well over a thousand horsepower on that. But for the VQ 3.7 liter, it kind of hits a wall. It, uh, it produces too much air that the engine cannot ingest. So you don't really get to use all the efficiency of that blower. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I only hit 800. So the question is, supercharger or turbo? I can downgrade the blower. I can get a little bit smaller one that would better fit the engine. The other blower is a TI. Now, a TI is a heavy duty blower. It does produce more boost than the SI, but it's older technology. It uses straight cut gears, which are really noisy. And it's not as efficient as some of the newer blowers out. Getting to the newer blower, the V7 series. The V7 series fits the V3 bracketry. That's why I went with the YSI. But the step below the YSI is the V is the V7 JT. Uh, the JT is primarily used on Mustangs. Um, it's a great size blower. They make, if I recall correctly, maybe 900 horsepower on it. 800 horsepower, 900 horsepower, no problem uh, with that blower. And then you got the JTB, which is the JT with the billet wheel. Uh, that one can make a lot more. So, I think somewhere between a TI trim and a JT trim would be the ideal blower for that engine, for the 3.7. But boost for boost, the turbo will win. A turbo producing the same 23 PSI that my YSI makes will make over 800 horsepower, easy. I am currently looking at turbos right now for the car. I would like to do a single setup, a uh, single turbo. Uh, I've been looking at compressor maps to see what would I, what would be ideal for my engine, my application. And I, I truly want to see what this car is capable of with that blower. Um, I want to see what the car is capable of with a turbo. We know what it's capable of on a supercharger, but we want to see what it does on a turbo. And the other side of this coin is I really, really, really like the supercharger. So maybe downgrading to a JT or a TI trim would give me better streetability with the car, be able to race it more, and get down the track like I really want to, but we'll have to see.
Got the supercharger off. Here's the blower. Got a buyer for it already. <sighs> Sad to see it go. Got the bracket. This bracket is exactly like the steel in bracket, except it's made out of steel, half inch steel. Uh, that way it doesn't flex at all. And the tensioner, uh, the original steel in bracket right here, you can see all the black stuff and that's, uh, that's actually from the belt when the belt was slipping because uh, of an alignment issue that I fixed. Uh, temporarily connected the ground wires. These ground wires are extremely important. Do not turn the car on with those ground wires disconnected. I will tell you why. Goes to the coils and injectors. Uh, that's what this ground is for. It will loop back and it will destroy the injector circuit. I know that from experience. So, at one point, I was working on the car just like this. I was working on it outside and I had to move the car into the garage. And so I turned it on real quick just to move it in and it was sputtering. Now, the reason it started to sputter was because the injector drive circuit, which is located right here, went bad. There you go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six diodes that burned up or that popped in this circuit here. Now this is not the original computer. The original computer is still in the car. What I did is I I tried to get it replaced under warranty, but you know, funny thing is uh, a car like this does not get warranty work for some reason. I don't know. Uh, the replacement computer from the dealer was extremely expensive. I got this one off from a junkyard and I use it as a donor. I identified the circuit that was damaged on my ECU and I ended up desoldering the diodes from this good ECU onto the ECU from that car. The burned ones, I re only four of them got damaged, but I replaced all six just, just for the fun of it. I was already there. Um, board level repair is actually what I do for a living. So anyway, uh, this is my old ECU. I keep it around just in case something like that ever happens again. The whole reason that the supercharger came off is that I sold it. Uh, I sold it to a good friend of mine and the plan is to go for a single turbo setup on this build. Historically, single turbos are always done on the passenger side. And the reason being steering shaft. Steering shaft gets in the way. You can't run all your piping through there. Everybody runs it through this side. The second reason that people do not run the single turbo on the driver's side is the AC line. The AC line runs right here and it's in the way. You cannot have exhaust coming through here without being interfered by the AC line. So that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Aesthetically, I think that the turbo being on this side of the vehicle, I think that the turbo being on the driver's side of the vehicle will complement the manifold better. Now, if you've seen any other uh, single turbo setups, they use the stock manifold and you have one intake on this side and one intake on this side. And what they'll do is the intake will come through and it'll, it'll have a nice bend here. And on this side, they'll bend it outwards around the turbo and then go back down. To me, that just doesn't look right. It's not symmetrical. I know this is asymmetrical as well, but since you have so much going on the left side, you need something on the right side. It's just, it's too empty. And the still and manifold flows very well. Uh, you see my dyno graphs already. I have no drop off in power. It's not choking anywhere. And I still have low end torque because I have run this manifold before on an NA setup and I don't have any issues with it. So putting the turbo somewhere in this area here, if you can imagine it right here, I think it might work. Two pipes going up on the bottom two dumps and then maybe we'll do something sick like a uh, like a hood exit i mean and that's the goal the goal is to make some power the goal is to make a turbo kit that is aesthetically pleasing something that looks cool and something that's different